Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. We got a rainy Thursday on our hands here. We are back at Hendrickson Park. Checking out the lake. Uh, something about the rain that's peaceful. Right here by the lake. No wind. There's the flag. No moving. Down here by the lake. Chilling out. Good morning, Dawn. All right, all right. So, it's Thursday. Got the rain gear on. I actually got to say, I've been pretty lucky. Uh, we really haven't had too many rainy days. Today is day 101 of the journey. And we're, uh, we're trucking along. So, uh, today I'm shooting up to Lake George for the Adirondack Nationals. Be up in Lake George uh, for the weekend. And we'll be uh, cruising around the hot rod. All the hot rod stuff. I'll post some live stuff up here. I'm sure you guys will uh, be entertained by all the hot rods. I'm going to get a wet butt as I sit on the thing over here. So, uh, but that's the plan for the weekend. But today's message, open up the Bible app. And uh, sometimes it just hits right. Uh, it was a verse from Matthew. And it said, the harvest is great and the workers are few. And uh, that really rings true with uh, a lot in life. Um, from the workforce standpoint, um, those of us in the entrepreneurial world, um, no one wants to work and it's hard to find labor and it's really been difficult. No one wants to do any work. No one wants to get anything done anymore. Uh, we talk about that a lot, but it also, uh, comes back to the spiritual side. Who's looking to, uh, spread the love. Who's looking to do the work to spread the love. God put us here for a reason to get things done, to help our fellow man and woman and and, uh, you know, be a prophet, uh, do what God does. So we're all here to uh, work for God by stuff like this, me doing this message to you every morning and trying to help you out and set your head right for the day and uh, all of us communicating and uh, enjoying each other's uh, company and ideas and thoughts and uh, praying for each other and, and all that other stuff that uh, we do in our lives to, to look out for each other and do the work, do God's work, as we call it. Um, so I thought that verse was pretty, pretty interesting today. Kind of, kind of was spot on. So the harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. Think about that. Are you a worker? Are you putting in the work? Are you putting in the work in your life to make your life what it needs to be? Uh, are you putting in the work, uh, to spread the love, share God's word, uh, help your fellow man. And you know, we were put on this place to be someone, to do something. We weren't put on this place to just exist. So, uh, if you're just existing in your life and you are not, um, doing anything, doing any work outside of your normal routine. Um, we talked about the 30 day challenge that I put up yesterday to everybody, uh, for the next 30 days, I want everybody to intentionally reach out to someone that they normally wouldn't have spoke to. It could be an old friend. It could be, uh, someone in the store. It could be, uh, someone at work, reach out to them and have a real conversation about how they're doing, how they're feeling in life. If they're having any struggles and if you can help them in any way, get a little deep and, uh, and see if, uh, see if you can help them. Um, <clears throat> had a conversation with a friend the other day. We talked about, um, the idea that you get this feeling in your gut sometimes that you just need to talk to someone. Um, I thought it was just me, but um, the more people I talk to, uh, you get a feeling in your gut and someone just happens to come into the room, come into the, you know, come into your life and something just says, I have to talk to this person. And when you do talk to that person, you find out that they need something, they're struggling, they have something going on in their life, and they're kind of just looking um, looking to lean on someone. So be that person for them to lean on. Um, it's real. Again, I thought it was just me. And um, I've, I've talked to a couple more people in my life. We all say, you kind of get this feeling in your gut that you want to talk to someone. And if you don't talk to them, it kind of bothers you all day. You know, who is that person that showed up in my life? And why didn't I talk to them? And, it, and you second guess yourself. So pay attention to that feeling in your gut. Uh, as people come into your life and come around you, God puts people in your life for a reason. So talk to them. Find out what they're about. See how you can help them. Um, it may be just, just what they need to uh, put their life back on track, to get them through the day, to make them smile. You know, I say all the, all the time, say good morning to everyone in your life. Um, say hello to everybody who walks by. Wave to people. You know, uh, we talk about, uh, I used to talk about going upstate all the time, upstate New York. People just seem friendlier. And everybody waves, everybody says hello. And then we come down to the city and everyone's afraid to look at each other. Everyone's afraid to make eye contact. And that shouldn't be, uh, that shouldn't be, uh, 
something you should do. It should be good morning. It should be hello. Intentionally look people in the eyes and say good morning. Say hello. And again, 30-day challenge. Pick one person a day out of your life and spend 10 minutes with them and find out what they're about. Find out what they're going through and be intentional. Um, I'd like to see the uh, you guys comment down here. Let me know who you're talking to. You don't have to put names down, but just what the idea was and what you learned and, and what's going on. Uh, I'm really curious to see uh, what you learn about the people in your lives when you actually get intentional and um, spend some time with them and, and spread the love. All right, so that's the message of the day. Be a worker. Be a worker. Be a worker in the world. Be a worker in, uh, in God's work in the kingdom. And uh, let's get stuff done. All right. I'll get you a little look at the lake here. We'll look at the lake action. All right. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All right. Dear God, please look over everyone in my life. Please help everyone become a worker. Help everyone spread the love. Help everyone get stuff done in their life. Help everyone affect everybody around them. We are here for a reason. We are here to do big things. We are not here to exist. So if you are just existing in life and you are not enjoying life, reach out to God and get some stuff done. I said, be intentional. Amen. So, all right, we got the message. It's raining. Luckily, uh, I've been pretty lucky on this ride. I think it's only about the third, third or fourth rainy day out of a uh, really rainy day out of 101 today. And, uh, I appreciate you guys all tuning in every morning. Um, please comment down in there. Let me know if you're doing this 30-day challenge with me. Uh, I want you to talk to at least one person a day for 30 days and spend maybe 10 minutes at least with them. Hopefully it'll be longer. And see what they're about. See what issues they're having. Spread some love. See how you can help them. Let's uh, let's get intentional. Let's connect with each other. And let's, uh, let's do some work here for God. We got to be the workers. The harvest is plentiful. There's so much good stuff in the world. We need to go get it. So, all right. God bless everyone. And please, yeah, jump in the comments. Let me know if you're doing this. Let me know who you're talking to. Again, don't use names unless you want to. Um, just let me know. You know, I talked to someone at work, and uh, this is what they're going through, and this is what I found out about them. This is how I'm going to help them. Um, I think it's going to be fun. I think you're going to love it a lot. I do it a lot. It, uh, it's really fun to, to find out what someone's about and be able to, uh, you know, throw your arm around them, give them a hug, and say everything's going to be all right because a lot of people need that in life. So, all right, everyone. We will see you tomorrow morning from upstate New York. I'm going to find a cool place to uh, ride to, and uh, we'll go live and show you what that's all about. All right, everyone. God bless. Have a great day. Stay dry.